In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, initiate the integration between Perch and Team Builder, uh, and then talk a little bit about how that integration between the two actually work. So obviously you first must have a Team Builder account, and then you also must have a Perch account. Um, so what you do then is you will go to Team Builder and go to settings, and then in settings you need to go to organization integrations, and at the very bottom here under VBT uh, section, you will click on connect with Perch. Now, at this point, you're going to need a Perch API key, and only Perch can actually uh, give you that key. So um, if you have a Perch account, I presume you also have a contact at Perch, you will need to reach out to Perch and ask for an API key. My key is on my clipboard, so I'm simply going to click paste, and now my key is pasted in here. So once you paste your key and hit submit, it's going to actually connect uh, to the uh, Team Builder account. So, and then now I am successfully connected to the Perch account. So here it says successfully connected to the Perch account. So what happens now is that all the exercises in your Perch account will then be migrated into Team Builder, um, but they will not go to the master database. They will actually go to the imported exercise database. Now here's the thing. Um, the difference between the master and imported database, you ought to know the difference. If you don't, we have another video explaining that. But in short, we don't just add exercises to your master database because we want to avoid duplicates. For example, in our master database, we have a barbell back squat, and then Perch has this exercise called back squat. It's the same thing. So we don't want to duplicate that. So when you're looking at Perch exercises, which are denoted by having this Perch at the end, you want to make sure that you either merge them into your master account or that you add them into your master account. So in this case, I have back squat. This is going to be a case where I will be merging the exercise because I already have back squat. I call it barbell back squat. So barbell back squat is the exercise. I'm going to select it and I'm going to keep my name, description, tracking, and video from the team builder side of things and just make sure that that purge exercise gets merged into my team builder exercise. So when I do that merge, um, what will happen next is anytime I program barbell back squat um, um, and someone does barbell back squat and perch, that data, Team Builder and Perch are going to agree that that data belongs to the same exercise. So if I program Barbell Back Squat in Team Builder, um, it should be able to be performed in Perch. And even if I don't program it in Team Builder and someone uses Perch and does Barbell Back Squat, then Team Builder will import that information into Team Builder and log it as an exercise performed, even though it wasn't exactly programmed in Team Builder. It was just performed on a Perch system. So um, now that you understand that, let's take a look at how data uh, appears in Team Builder. And to do this, I'm going to switch to another account. Okay, so now I'm in a different Team Builder account, which actually has some pre populated data uh, with the Perch integration. So, what I will do is I will go to Workout Results and I will click an athlete. And I'm looking specifically for a Perch athlete. So, Perch user. Uh, and then I'm going to run this report from Jan 1 through March 4th to make sure that we're bringing in all the data that we have. And this is an example of what happens. So when someone trains on a perch system um, or if they um, do an exercise that's programmed in Team Builder but are doing it on the perch system, either way, we will record this data in the log. So in this case, back squat 2 by 45. Uh, but this is all the data that we bring over from the Perch system. So this is actually the result of the integration, is making sure that the training log, the workout results, are, are all aggregated in the same place. In this case, the Team Builder Workout Results Report. 